I delivered to 657 Boulevard. It's a little eerie, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful home. I will never stop watching. I can see why they were very obsessed over this house. <laughs> Seeing is believing. I am pleased to know your names now and the names of the young blood you have brought me. It's surreal uh, to be to be watch something uh, that's that's based on something you did. That's based on people that that you know. Journalist Reeves Weideman actually sat down with the real family back in 2018 to publish their terrifying true story. It was certainly an interesting um, and, and kind of wild to, to see this uh, portrayed on screen, um, even if it's not exactly uh, the, real, the real story from start to finish. 657 Boulevard is happy you are here. The address is the same. It, it takes place in, in Westfield, uh, Westfield, New Jersey. A lot of the, the sort of words from the letters are, are ripped kind of verbatim from, from the letters that were written by, by the Watcher. It was greed that brought your children here. Once I know their names, I'll call to them. And, and draw them to me. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Let the party begin. The Watcher. I got my eye on you. Reeves says another fact, some of the behavior is by the neighbors. There were these one neighbors who were, were apparently kind of sitting in these chairs, sort of looking at the house. There is a, a character named John Graff, um, who apparently uh, seemingly um, murders his, his family in the house sort of a few decades before and then goes on the run. <gasps> There was no murder that, that took place at 657 Boulevard, but in Westfield, there uh, everyone knows the story of John List, and uh, and this is a man that this character seems to be based on. Uh, he did, in fact, murder his entire family um, in his home in, in Westfield uh, in the 1970s. And something else true? The DNA was tested and found to be a woman, but so far, no matches. That means your watcher is a woman. And get this, Reeves says he's getting new tips daily, even as we talk to him. Since the show came out, I've had gotten a few emails from people locally or elsewhere who, who have suggested things. And, um, you know, nothing concrete so far, but uh, after we get off the phone this afternoon, I'm going to call a guy who says he's got a, got a lead on something, and, and we'll see where it goes. 